Well, welcome back to another uh, exciting episode of Managing Through a Pandemic in One Square Mile, uh, Carmel by the Sea, Focus on Safety and Well-Being. Um, welcome, uh, uh, welcome back, Chief. You were gone two weeks ago yep. when Max and I did this, and then I was gone last week. So yep. thank you for the time off. And it was a great vlog last week. Uh, Thanks. Max does bring a whole air of technology that um, we just can't do. I can't do it. We yeah. can't do it. But welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm growing a beard uh, for uh, male cancer awareness. I got a little jump start. I'm still going to uh, you know, beat all the police officers, of course. Uh, because I can grow a swarthy beard, so we'll see how that goes. So I'll join you next month. But thank you, sir. Thank you. A couple of things, a couple of thanks. Uh, first of all, thanks to our Community Activities Commissioners uh, and um, Carmel Gives. Uh, Carmel Gives purchased pumpkins that our commissioners handed out and gave away uh, at our farmer's market. Uh, thank you so much. I think it's a, just a great community service and a real nice, a real nice thing to do. And uh, thank, thank everyone for, uh, for my time off and to Max for managing uh, the city in my absence. It was uh, it was it was nice to be with my family for a couple of days. A couple of other notes. Uh, last week, the individual departments completed their uh, their quarterly budget reviews, and uh, everyone's tracking obviously revenue expenditures very closely. Uh, really trying to ensure that we budgeted conservatively enough for this current fiscal year. So, uh, thanks for the department heads uh, for their vigilance, and certainly for the staff to the staff for the same. Just a reminder that there is a ballot drop-off uh, at HML. Uh, it started a couple of weeks ago. It's open 24-7. It is the book drop. Um, Ashley, uh, Ashley Wright, our, uh, our library and community activities director, thank you so much for, for stewarding that. Um, just a reminder, there is no ballot box here at City Hall, uh, maybe uh, in the next election. Um, but uh, please, uh, the most important thing is to vote. And then the last note I have, Chief, is that there is COVID testing at Hi Seaside High School from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then 7 to 7.30 p.m. I believe it's Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. um, we'll ask, ask, uh, ask uh, Leslie Fenton, please. I'll, I'll send you a, uh, a little note on that, uh, Leslie Fenton, and maybe you can add it to the Friday letter. But uh, it's important uh, to get tested. It's important statistically uh, to have people in the county get tested as well. So Supervisor Adams, Mayor Potter are both um, encouraging people to get tested. So that's what I have, Chief. Great. Thank you, sir. Uh, if anybody wants information on other testing sites in the county, we have that at the police department. They're welcome just to call in and get that information. So it's available. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about outdoor seating. Uh, one, of my, one of my favorite topics. <laughs> a constant topic. Uh, it's getting darker earlier. Mm -hmm. The sun's getting lower in the sky, and uh, we're asking people to drive with caution. Um, we're looking at some safety measures we may take and put in place, hopefully in the next week or two, just to make it a little bit safer. Uh, it may just be something like reflective tape on the corners of some of these outdoor parklets to help with the visibility. So it's something we're looking at, and we want to ensure people's safety and, and do our very best with that. Yeah, the mayor's ad hoc committee met this week to talk about awnings, um, hours, additional seating, and some other considerations. And I think we'll meet in the next uh, probably two weeks, probably after the after the election again. Great. So. Also, the traffic safety committee met on Wednesday. Uh, we discussed the post office parking lot. We did make a couple minor changes, which will help with parking downtown in the evening. Mm -hmm. The changes is that we it's still ten minute parking all day from eight a.m. It's now until 5 p.m. instead of 7 p.m. So that's two additional hours where it's open to the public, un untimed, after 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday. And then all day Sunday, you can park there without time restrictions. So it's additional parking, which will help mm -hmm. since we lost some of the parking with the outdoor seating. And that was the only topic we uh, covered at the Traffic Safety Committee meeting. We'll have another one in a month or two to discuss some of the other issues in town. Well, I, I appreciate the Traffic Safety Committee, which is made up of yourself, uh, Public Works Director Bob Harry, Harari, and then our uh, Acting Community Planning and Building Director, Marnie Waffle, uh, taking the initiative to try to make things better for parking, and we'll see how it works. Yep, and of thanks. course, those new hours are in concert with the revised hours from the U.S. Post Office, who didn't consult us at all when they made their uh, their hourly change, not that they have any obligation to, but... Uh, we're always trying to um, have a healthy relationship with the federal government. 
Yeah, and I think we can re- rule. We will remain flexible with that. If the post office does change their hours yeah. again, it's an easy change on that parking lot. So we're going to just try to mirror their hours. If it goes back to 24 hours, we'll change the signage again. So. Smart. Great. Well, thanks, Chief. Uh, please continue to be patient with us uh, as we respond to your uh, calls and needs for service. Just a reminder, all staff are working. Some are working remotely, and we're working on a, a, a plan to uh, open our city facilities, provided we can do it in a safe and secure way, both for the visiting public and, and certainly for my staff. So that's what we have. So thank you, Chief, Great. for what you Thanks. do. Have a good weekend. Thank you, and take good care. Take good care.